Hello darts nuts, I'm going to do another review of a set of uh, Bulls Fighter darts. Um, like I've said before, these darts are made in Korea and they're made to a very high standard. This is the Yeon, I think that's how you pronounce it, 21 gram, 90% tungsten dart. And they come in the Bulls quite fancy packaging which has got this cardboard sleeve on the outer and then this metal case with very plush interior and a velvety uh, bottom where the darts are located and the darts come with a set of soft tip points and some medium nylon stems with spring clips and the bulls fighter clear standard flights with the um, pre-punch slot for the rings on the, on the stems. Like I said before the uh, Bulls Fighter darts, uh, the tungsten quality is really very very nice, it always seems to have a very nice uh, eye polish as well to the barrels. Not really sure how well it comes across on the camera but to the naked eye they are very very shiny and most of the darts like I said before tend to be made for a rare grip but uh, having said that there's still kind of work okay with me with being a front gripper just depends where you grip it really so we'll have a close look at the barrels now right here's the close look then I'll put the detailed picture up with all the measurements as you can see the darts are fitted with soft tip I think they're Ultima soft tip points uh, not 100% sure on that but I think that's what they are and this uh, barrel profile it's uh, quite sleek on this part of the barrel it tapers quite nicely to the front and it's mostly smooth but uh, the tungsten itself has kind of got a slight grippiness to it but obviously physical grip it's a low level grip there and then around the rear half just probably just past the center point you've got a fairly chunky section with a few grooves and uh, dimples around that ring there and it's still probably just a low medium grip but then you've got this uh, nice grippy section on the rear of the barrel it's made of these very thin rings and it almost feels a bit like a scallop there so just feel like it's definitely set up for a rear grip and I'd probably say that's a high medium level of grip there but you've got the the grip from the rings and you've also got a kind of a, a slope towards that slightly thicker part so you've got something quite nice to push against it's a very nice looking dart again Bulls Fighter really makes some nice darts and you've got your I think they look to be about tweeny size stems with the stem clips and the Bulls Fighter standard shape flights kind of a clear with the printed design so I'll let you look at the dart then I'll put the detailed picture up with all the measurements Here's the detail picture. Here's the detail look at the darts. It's got 25mm soft tip point. The front section of the barrel is tapered and smooth. That's 18mm wide. And then you've got a groove and then a, a wide ring with the Bulls Fighter logo and another groove. That's 7mm wide. And then you've got a ring with round indentations which is 2mm wide. And then there's another groove which is 1mm uh, wide and then you've got this slope and ring which is 2.9 millimeters wide 
and then you go into the grippy section on the rear of the barrel which starts with a kind of a, a kind of a ringed shark grip which is three millimeters wide and then the rest of the barrel is made up of these double rings with wide grooves in between that's 10 millimeters wide overall length is 44 millimeters and the width is 7.4 millimeters right then let's do some measurements on the barrel barrel length is 44 millimeters 44.03 and the width looks to be widest around somewhere around where that uh, ring is with the holes in it that says 7.4 millimeters and it does have a slight taper on that band there which is about 7.1 and then it goes a little bit thinner on the end of the barrel that's 6.5 millimeters so it's a little bit thinner there and at the front of the barrel it just tapers slightly towards the point 7.2 and 6.2 right let's compare the weight of the barrels that is 21.09 That is 21.09 and that is 21.09 so another perfectly matched set again and the weight of the full setup as it's supplied is 23.16 right I'll just see if I can find the balance point I'll just try it without any point attached first um, it looks about there with no point attached which is I'd say it's front of center and with the point attached moves a little bit more to the center which is around here and with the supplied setup just slightly more to the rear so it's just around about there for the grip so if you're going to grip on the rear you're just pushing through the so well, that's the uh, detailed look at the bulls fighter Yeon 21 gram darts it's a very nice looking dart again from Bulls Fighter so let's give them a throw and see how they go As usual I'm gripping it on the front part um, just on this little groove here which is almost near the middle um, it's fairly balanced on my grip there but uh, what one thing I have noticed is the dart feels a lot closer to what, what my steel tip is because of the weight so it throws quite easy for me with the extra weight usually with the lighter soft tips I tend to I'm not sure whether I'm just doing it deliberate but I tend to like force it a little bit whereas I'm just doing my kind of natural throw here without any force and just because with the lighter darts I, I sometimes see that the drip 
the, the dip down and it's because my throw isn't very strong it's only a very like kind of gentle throw so with these I seem to get I know it doesn't sound like it should make sense with the but with the darts being lighter I think you have to have a, a better throw to make it travel the distance and it's kind of easier to throw a heavier dart than it is a lighter dart a lot of it is just uh, down to practice though because when I've practiced with a lighter dart eventually I start getting the hang of it but uh, I'm using my 23 or 24 gram steel tips more than I am the lighter soft tips but these are a 21 gram soft tip so it's pretty close to my normal weight um, as you can see it's definitely built for a rear grip but um, it has quite a long tapered section here before it gets to this like slightly thinner rear grip so I'm just going to carry on having a few more throws there and I'll probably try around about here which is probably just past the center and then I'll try the 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 very rear grip on the grippy ring grip through that last one in annoyance of the first two so it was a fluke it went in the double wall going to try a little bit further up the barrel now um, I'd say that's probably past centre there but uh, I'm going to try that first and then I'll try right from the rear but, uh, see how that goes Too bad balance wise, just feels a little bit strange throwing it from there. It just feels a little bit weird for me, but it's not too badly balanced throwing it from there. So, if you're a centre gripper, you'll probably get away with it quite well. Um, I'll try that rear grip now, see how that goes. Seem to be flying quite flat from the rear. I'm getting quite a lot of spin as well as I'm letting it go, but just probably because I'm getting used to it from there. It's not my natural grip from there, but uh, 
as a rear grip here you'll probably have no issues with that seem to fly quite flat though uh, whether that's a problem with for you I don't know usually when I'm gripping from the rear it tends to kick up but it, it seemed to be f pretty flat all the way through the floor there but uh, I think middle grippers and rear grippers shouldn't have a problem it's definitely going to be working better for a natural rear gripper but uh, from the uh, perspective of a front gripper like me it's not too bad but I think you need to be moving your grip a little bit further up but uh, just for the last experiment I'm going to try right close to the nose see how that feels I think the only problem I was having with the darts there was it was kind of cramping up my fingers a little bit whereas there it felt a little bit more comfortable a little bit further up the barrel there I feel as if I'm squashing my fingers a little bit so I'm losing control a bit give it another go definitely uh, works better a little bit further up the barrel for me um, I say if, you, if you're a front gripper and you can get away with throwing it from there then it should be fine but if you like to grip right near the nose I didn't think it was as well balanced there but I'm just going to go back to that grip now So there you go, the Bulls Fighter Yeon 21 gram darts. If you're a soft tip player that likes a slightly heavier dart, then it's definitely recommended, especially if you're a rear gripper because it's nicely balanced there. But I think even center grippers will probably like it, and people who maybe front grippers who can get away with gripping just front of the center should work well as well. Uh, as usual with the Bulls Fighter, very nicely made dart, great quality as normal. So there you go, that's the end of the review, thanks for watching.